This is a review for the Roborock E5. The E5's airflow was measured at 21 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.3 kPa. In our carpet stress test, the E5 picked up all debris types very well. This robot has an average size direct clean path with a brush roll compartment that is approximately 6.5 inches wide. It picks up most debris directly, but also uses a side brush to pull debris from the perimeter of the robot toward this direct clean path. In addition, it's programmed to make multiple passes over any particular area during a particular cleaning run. In our carpet deep clean test, the E5 picked up 10 grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. In our hard floor stress test, the E5 once again picked up all debris types very well. It once again used repeated movement over the same areas to clean up well in this test over time. The E5 also performed very well cleaning edges. It uses gyroscopes and an optical sensor located on the bottom of the robot to move in a very precise row-by-row -row pattern, not only horizontally but also vertically across the length of a room. This allows it to approach the full length of each edge of a room head-on which is important as its head-on movement is largely responsible for it cleaning edges so well. Notice how when it approaches an edge head-on, it gets very close to it before rotating in the opposite direction. This allows it to sweep debris out of the edge very well. The E5 did not perform very well in our robot vacuum crevice test on default power. It did perform considerably better on maximum power, but even after extensive runtime, it still could not pull much of the debris out of the crevice used for this test. In our human hair pickup test, the E5 picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. In our pet hair pickup test, the E5 performed much better. It picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. The E5 we bought for review did come with a mopping attachment, and so we tested how well it could mop. In our mopping test, it performed quite well. It got a proper cleaning of the whole test surface in about three minutes. Note that not all E5s come with a mopping attachment. You usually have to pay a bit more to get one that comes with it. But all E5s are compatible with this mopping attachment. So if you buy one without it, you can always buy a mopping attachment separately for it later. We tested the E5's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we see the robot's row-by-row -row cleaning pattern demonstrated very well. Note how it first moves in vertical rows and then moves in horizontal rows across the whole room. This allows it to approach any piece of debris in the room twice and from two different perpendicular angles. In our cluttered room testing, we again see the same row-by-row -row cleaning pattern, this time around several obstacles. Note how the robot maintains its up-down movement pattern around all of the obstacles during the first part of this first trial, even in areas where it doesn't make sense for it to do it, like this section right above the rectangular container in the top right side of the room. It does eventually move horizontally through the section, and it does eventually switch to circular movements in certain spots where it's more efficient to do so, like the top table legs and chair legs, though it never does circular movements around the bottom table legs or bottom chair legs. In the second trial, it repeats much of the same behavior we saw in the first trial, though here it does switch to a circular pattern fairly early in the trial around the bottom chair legs in addition to the top chair legs and table legs. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is not a full-fledged mapping robot. It does generate a very basic map of the area it's cleaning, which you can look at on the Mi Home Companion app, but you can't really interact with a map. You can't label rooms on the map or set the robot to clean certain areas or stay out of certain areas of the map. In the same chart, also note the E5's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the E5 one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The E5 picks up debris on both carpet and hard floors very well. It deep cleans carpet really well for a robot vacuum. It has excellent edge performance. It mops well. 
It also has well above average battery life and a good sized dustbin. Moving on to what we dislike about the E5, its brush roll tangles very easily with longer hair, and it doesn't feature the most intelligent navigation. The robot often cleans in rows when it would clean much more efficiently moving in circular patterns around certain obstacles. The E5 does eventually switch to circular patterns around most such obstacles, but we would like to see it do so more consistently to increase its overall navigational efficiency. Finally, as we mentioned earlier, the E5 is one of the larger robot vacuums we tested, which could limit its coverage in between and underneath certain furniture in your home. In terms of general recommendations, the E5 finds itself in a very interesting position on the market. It's usually more expensive than most random pathing robots, but cheaper than most mapping robots. So it's at this middle ground price point that may be appealing to a lot of consumers that are willing to spend a little bit more for something better than a random pathing robot, but don't want to spend as much as it would take to buy a good quality, full-fledged mapping robot. And for those consumers, the E5 can be a good option. Our recommendation of the E5 depends on its exact price. Its price varies from around $300 to $200. At around $300, we don't recommend it. It's not a good value. At around $200, it is a very good value, and we do recommend it. See the description of this video for the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.